how's it going everybody hope you're doing well and in this video I'm going to show you how to make GDBC connection to your Java project so for that we need the XAMPP which is going to show us our database in a web server uh, we have to start the Apache server and the MySQL Then we need to hit the admin button here. So here in uh, PHP my admin, you can create your database and your tables. So in my case, I have created my database, which is registration and uh, already created my table, which is users. So the users table contains the username, password, and email and ID of course. Here I have already stored four records before, which is Anas, Muhammad, Yasser, and Hakim. Then we need to go to our Java project, and the first thing we need to do is to add the MySQL connector which I have already downloaded okay we have add, added in uh, the libraries then we have to create class to connect our Java project to our uh, database I will name it CNX with operator letters uh, then I need to delete this because I have already wrote the code before the code is here So Paste it here Here we have all the imports that we need uh, The class name is CNX and we have a method here which is get connection and the bench of setters which allow us to set uh, the information of the database so the server name is localhost username is root the database name is registration in my case and the port number is 3306 then we go here so in my case it's registration form so uh, what I need to do is to store the user's information in the database and here by using the prepared statement object which is going to send the SQL statement to the, to the database the SQL statement here is insert into, so it's going to insert the username, the password, the email into the user's table. And here I'm checking if the statement is already executed. So if it's ex executed, it will give us this message, which is your, your account has been created successfully. And if it's not, it will give us this message, which is error check your informations so let's give it a try and we'll see so the username password will be 4444 and the email So it say your account has been created successfully. So let's check it out. So yeah, it works perfectly. Here is the username, the password and the email. So thank you and hope you guys enjoy the video.